This is a walkthrough of the Packet Tracer Lab 2.4.1.2 Skills Integration Challenge in the Cisco CCNA Routing Switching uh, Lab in the section called Introduction to Networking. So, Introduction to Networking 2.4.1.2 Skills Integration Challenge. And uh, we will uh, look, look together what will be done in this task. Let's start here. We will see here that we have uh, some devices. Configure hostname and IP addresses on two iOS switches. Uh, use iOS commands to specify limit access. Uh, use iOS command to save the configuration. Configure two host devices with IP. Verify connectivity between the two end PCs. So we have an environment with two PCs and two switches between them. And no layer three devices. So everything is in the same subnet, which we can see in the addressing table up here, 172.16.5 slash 24, they're all in the same subnet. So it's it's a true layer two uh, environment without any routing involved. Scenario, blah, 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 requirements, use a console connection to, e to access each switch. Uh, name, room 145, 146, okay. Use the password, blah, blah, secret password, encrypt all passwords including the word warning in the banner, configure addressing for all devices, and save your configurations. Okay, let's do that. Start with the PCs. It's the most easy task to do. PC manager, and we go to the uh, IP configuration, and we enter an IP address of 172.16.5.50, 255, 255, 255, 0, and no default gateway given here, and it should not be needed anyway, because it's a layer 2 connection, or the same broadcast domain for all devices here. Uh, we take the reception and we add an IP address here. No, not here, but desktop and IP configuration 172.16.5.60 and a slash 24 here. Okay, great. That was the easy task. Now let's have a look at the switches which we should configure using the uh, console connection. So this is a LAN connection, and in order to use the console connection, we need to put a console cable in. So we use the light blue cable from the RS-232 port to the switch, and we will properly select the console port here, like that. Okay, let's go into the PC and the terminal. It looks like this, and here we have a switch, and we go to config mode, and do we have uh, names? Yes, room 145 and 146, so this is room 145, host name, room 145, uh, line v VTY for the uh, SSH or tenant access, and we would have a password of 8UBRU. Uh, login is needed to allow or require password, and we use a password of 8UBRU, uh, like that. Uh, so use the C9WRE secret password. I guess they mean the enable secret password. We must assume that they mean the enable password here. It is probably a mistake to not write the word enable here. So we do that. Uh, enable secret C9WRE. Uh, encrypt all key text password. Uh, to do that, we use the command service encrypt, uh, no, password encryption. Service password encryption, it's a global command to make sure that all passwords in the configuration that are normally in clear text would be encrypted. Okay, uh, include the word warning in the message of the day banner. Uh, banner, MOTD, and all banners needs to start with one uh, character, it doesn't really matter which one, as long as it, it's ended with the same character, and here between we can write anything we want, except for the uh, that character, in this case exclamation mark. So you select any 
uh, character that is not included in the banner and you start and end that uh, banner with the same character and that, that character will not be visible. Uh, so we just write, write something like blah blah warning. The reason they ask us to include the word warning is probably that they have a uh, script to verify that we have done this, ta this task. So we do like that. Configure addressing for all devices according to addressing table. Uh, if we look at the show IP int brief command, we will list all interfaces and see the uh, IP addresses. And we have the physical interfaces here, which we will not configure on the switch because we need to configure a VLAN interface. And it is VLAN 1. This is the default VLAN. Uh, VLAN 1 IP address. And we need the IP address of the room 145 switch here. IP address 172.16.5.35. IP address. Okay, IP address. This would work in a real switch, but probably not in the uh, peg tracer. Okay, I need to go into the interface first. This is an embarrassing mistake. Int uh, VLAN 1. Like that. And no shut as well, because it said, it said that it was shut down. Okay, and we should uh, save our configuration like that. And next step is to do the same thing in the other switch. Um, oh, configuration is locked. Sorry. We need to use the console cable, of course, to do that. So no cheating. And we go into the terminal. And we set the host name. 146 and uh, line vty04 login and password 8ubru and we enable pass uh, uh, secret password is uh, enable secret and ada Vänta lite. Jag håller på. Vänta lite bara. So, enable secret C9WRE. And encrypt all clear text passwords, which is uh, uh, service password encryption. And include the word warning, uh, M banner, MOTD, uh, warning, like that, and configure addressing uh, uh, interface VLAN 1, VLAN 1, no shot, an IP address of 172.16.5.40. And write mem. And verify connectivity. So let's start from the beginning. We go into the manager and we try to ping. So we are the dot 50 and we have a sequence in a line of uh, 35, uh, 40, and in the remote end we have the reception PC with an IP address of 60. Well, let's try that first. 172.16.5. Sorry. 172.16.5. Dot reception is 60. And we can ping all the way. Hallelujah. And we just to make sure we ping the other devices as well. We ping 40. And it will probably take uh, our timeout before it uh, working. Yeah, great. And we will ping the uh, room 145, which is 35. And the same here. The ARP takes about a second uh, before that is cached, and uh, then we will get a reply. 
And next time we ping the same IP address, of course, it works immediately because we have an ARP cache in the PC. So they are in the ARP. So we have connectivity between the manager, the reception, and the switches. And everything is happy. Uh, before ending this, we will have a look at the requirements. And uh, we see that we have verified connectivity, save the configuration, and we have 88 out of 90, <coughs> which is a bit odd, but we do, we, it is probably because of uh, some strange thing in the packet tracer. So let's have a look at the results here. The results, uh, assessment items, it says 98 out of 100 and 22 out of 24. What did we do wrong? Console, uh oh, I did not add a password on the console line. Bad me, bad me. So, what I need to add is the uh, uh, password and the uh, login for the console port. And this is too late for me to add now. Uh, so, I will ex show you. When we have finished the activity in the packet tracer, it's too late to do any changes, and uh, we will. I will show you here that what we need to add, if you do this to get full full score, is in each of the two switches, do a uh, line console and do a login and password of whatever password it was. It was. Uh, uh, the same password as we used in the uh, uh, VTY, whatever it was. It, we, we need to add the same password here that we had on line VTY04. And this password actually is randomized each time you start the uh, packet tracer. So you should not use the same password as I did. But you, uh, what I did was use my password here, and I forgot to do this. So you need to do the same thing on the line console zero. And then you should get a full score on this task. So, a bit embarrassing, but now it's solved. Thanks for watching.